You may recall that last year I bought a job lot of computers and consoles from the UK and there was some pretty cool stuff in there and there was also some slightly broken and slightly interesting stuff. The broken things, which are the Atari 2600s, they're actually up on eBay right now, assuming you're watching this on or around early or to mid January 2021. It's just, I got a severe case of CBF towards the end of last year, so it's like, yeah, nah, someone else's problem. Of course, that's left me with four machines remaining from that job lot, being an Amiga 1200, a ZX81. Here's one I prepared earlier. That's currently on display here at the desk, the workbench as it were, a ZX Spectrum which I've been doing a bit of work behind the scenes on, and this VIC-20 which is absolutely minging. What I've got is I've got a spare, no and good Commodore 64 power supply, I've tested their voltage rails and whatnot so I don't think it's going to fry this thing. I also bought myself a new AV cable compatible with um, the 5 pin outputs on VIC-20s and some Commodore 64s. Hopefully that'll give us a picture. This did come with an RF modulator as well, but this particular telly doesn't actually do analog. And it also came with a data set. I actually did mention in my previous video featuring the VIC-20 when I got that job lot that I may consider flipping it, and that's still on the agenda, only because I happen to know where I can get my hands on a nice VIC-20 from, from a family friend, so I probably don't need two of them. Moment of truth. Look at that! Yeah, nah, sorry Adrian. You can probably see if you look closely that there's some jail bar sort of thing going on. I'm not overly concerned about that at the moment. I just wanted to make sure that this actually works. I'll just speed the footage up as I do the needful. So that works okay. I did notice that the space bar is a little bit... It really wants you to punch it in the middle, otherwise it won't register. So I suspect there's probably some sort of bar configuration underneath it needs to be put into place. So that's something that'll happen when I clean the keyboard. Now the other thing too is that so this data set came with it. I just want to make sure that it works. So I found a spare tape, which tape nerds are going to be kind of screeching at me because it's a type 2 chrome bias tape rather than a type 0 or a type 1 but unfortunately this is the only spare tape I've got hanging around at the moment so I know type 2 is probably overkill for this thing but what can you do so let's pop this in here ah. I can't hear a motor going, which suggests to me that it's probably not the belts that have gone, although the belts may have gone. I don't think that's what's stopping this from working right now. I probably should look up what these, this looks like some sort of earthing thing, but I've never actually earthed one of these before, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. So let's just put a bit of contact meter in here, because at the very least, if I can hear some noise coming from this data set, then I'll know that, um, well, obviously the, the belts probably will need replacing, but at the same time I'll also know that there won't be anything else I'll need to chase down. I might do it on the VIC-20 end as well. But yeah, considering this thing looks like it's looks like this was Shrek's first computer, apart from being the wrong colour. Um, yeah, um, impressed that something that's spent, I don't know, three and a half decades languishing in some... Holy... Can you see that? That's actually leaving stuff on these gloves. That's, that's insane. Yeah, but what I was saying, yeah, something that's like spent the last three and a half decades just sitting languishing somewhere. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to use hand sanitizer after this. Um, just seems a bit interesting. Now, is that upside down? That's upside down. So I guess part of this is going to be determining what the issue is with the data set because it'd be nice to get it working again. Ah, uh, so that's still not running. Yeah, I think the plan of attack is to clean this up, make it look nice, clean out the keys, work out what's going on with that space bar, 
and also while I've got it apart, maybe do do a bit of testing, you know, run the multimeter over the uh, tape for data set output just to make sure that's delivering a voltage. And of course, um, looking at the plug itself, making sure that's all fine and dandy, and then taking the data set apart and trying to work out what's going on there. If I decide to take it that far, then there may be a video where I am. Oh, so I usually do that. It's interesting. It looks like I'm getting the wind up, so I think this thing wants me to shut up. I think I'll round off this video. All I'll say is thanks for subscribing. By the way, 103 subscribers. Um, I'm just touched that so many people want to look at these videos, which I'll be honest with you, are probably going to come out a bit more regularly from now on because reasons. But until next time, see you later.